Let's examine some of the valuable Washington Court of Variety coins sold from the Stephenville collection recently. The first coin for us to look at here is a mint mark variety from the San Francisco Mint. This is the 1940s Large S Washington Quarter, specifically the Large S with the more delicate triangular lower serif on the mint mark. This is the same Large S mint mark type that was also employed on the scarce 1941 large S nickel coin. Apart from being, well, physically larger in size than the regular small S mint mark, usually found on the 1941 quarter, the bottom serif is distinctly triangular in shape. The coin was graded by PCGS's MS66+, and at auction, it was sold for $840. Then we move along to the 1945S triple die obverse variety coin. Now the tripling on this coin is very subtle and in most cases the best you can hope for is to detect some minor doubling instead, to be completely frank. The letters of In God We Trust is a good place to start with the minor doubling seen towards the left side of the letters. The R and U of Trust is a good example of this in particular. You can also also spots a similar effect towards the top of the one of the date. This example was graded by PCGS as MS66+, and that auction was sold for $960. The 1939 San Francisco Mint Washington Quarter harbors a sneaky little double die obverse variety that is easily overlooked if you're not terribly vigilant. The doubling is not exceedingly strong on this coin, but once you know what to look for, it becomes a lot easier to spot. The best effect of this, in my opinion, is usually on the numbers of the date, displaying towards the right of the numbers. The one is doubled arguably the best, with the nines being doubled both towards the right outside edge and on the inside of the cavity. This example was authenticated by PCGS with a grade of MS67, which secured a closing price at auction of $1,020. Now, the 1941 Double Die Obverse Washington Quarter is one that has been known to specialist collectors for many years, but has seen a definite uptick in popularity as of late, its recent inclusion in the Cherry Picker's Guide no doubt having an influence on that regard. The doubling here is the best expressed in the letters of In God We Trust, where the O and the D of God, the We and the S and T of Trust are all doubled towards the southeast very clearly. This example of the coin was graded as MS66 by PCGS and sold at auction for $1,320. Alright, so here is a fantastically interesting variety, oftentimes called the 1940s Goiter Quarter Dollar. This coin came about due to a severe die deformation of the obverse of the coin. The area in front of Washington's Adam Apple appears to be buckled upwards, while the field just below the jaw is sunken for some unknown reason, leading to a lack of definition in the mouth and chin and the appearance of an inflamed throat, as well as a distortion of the letters of In God We Trust. This example was graded by PCGS's MS65+, and when the coin passed over the auctioneer's block, it sold for the sum of $1,320. A double die obverse coin from 1943 is next, and of the several similar coins that are out there from the Philadelphia Mint, this is a tremendous example from the San Francisco Mint instead. The doubling here can be seen on virtually all the letters and the date, but is expressed in the best way on the letters of In God We Trust, with strong doubling seen on the letters towards the south East. Though not to be outdone, the letters of Liberty are all also doubled very uniquely towards the bottom left of the letters. Graded by PCGS as MS66, this exceptional coin was sold at auction for the sum of $1,860.
Then we have a very prominent over mint mark variety from the Washington series. This is the 1950D over S variety, where an S mint mark for San Francisco was initially struck in and then overstruck by a D mint mark from the Denver mint. The remnants of the first S can clearly be seen towards the top left of the demon mark. And you might be forgiven for concluding that, upon first glance, that this is in fact a D over D over S mint mark. But the shelf-like flattening of the D towards the right is actually the effects of strike doubling. This coin was slapped by PCGS with a grade of MS66 and at auction it was sold for the sum of $2,400. A coin that you could still, at least in theory, find in pocket change and definitely while coin searching is the double die reverse variety from the Denver Mint of 1968. Here the doubling is evident on almost all the design elements of the coin, at least to some minor or more major degree. The letters of United States of America are affected to an especially pleasing degree. This particular coin also suffers from some rather severe strike doubling or what is more commonly referred to as machine doubling, which makes for a rather disorienting effect. All the same, this is graded as MS66 by PCGS, and at auction, this coin was sold for $2,640. Now, as far as the 1934 quarter is concerned, there are no fewer than three design varieties for the obverse of the coin employed in this single year. I go into much greater detail about this in a dedicated video if you want to know more. But suffice it to say that these are known as the light, medium and heavy motto coins. The light motto is easy enough to spot as the motto of In God We Trust is at least on most coins seen, barely legible. The example of the light motto variety as seen here is graded by PCGS as MS67 plus and at auction it was sold for $3,000. There was also a heavy motto type offered to complete the hat trick. This type is identified by the more heavier set letters and the fact that the center peak of the W of we uh, being taller than the rest of the letters. This example here was graded as MS67 and that auction sold for $2,520. One of the strongest and most impressive, and as a direct result, also one of the most popular double die obverse varieties in the Washington Quarter series is this coin. Here, the doubling is clearly seen on the letters of In God We Trust, where every single letter is doubled with dramatic and unmistakable effect. And as if that wasn't quite enough, the numbers of the date as well as the letters of Liberty are also doubled. This coin was graded as MS66 by PCGS and at auction it was able to secure a final bid of $3,500. And then another 1934 variety coin, but this time it is the medium motto type of 1934. Unlike the previous examples, this type is actually considered the more plentiful of the three different reverses that were used in this year. The obvious type is identified by the blunted central peak of the W in we, as well as by the letters of In God We Trust being clearly strengthened overall. Better defined than the weak motto, but not quite as thick as the heavy motto type. But what sets this coin apart is the sheer grade level of the piece. At a grade of MS68 from PCGS, it definitely qualifies as a conditional rarity, even if it's not so in absolute terms. At auction, it was sold for an astounding $5,520. Subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the bell icon to know when new videos are are released. For the world numismatic news, I am Numismin saying thank you for watching, keep collecting, and have a fantastic day.